What's good, y'all? Al Famous living my life, not thinking about it twice. Don't be scared to like, subscribe, or share this dope content if you like it, you heard? Let's get it. Let's get it, man. Now, this joint right here is called 51 Years After Attica. Yeah, 51 Years After Attica. Now, in 1971, you heard, everybody know, there was a prison uprise at the Attica State Prison up in Attica, New York. You heard? You see what I'm saying? And the prisoners, you know, prisoners got together, you know what I'm saying? And they went into a, they, they went into a, a demonstration because of a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? They wasn't getting fed properly. They wasn't getting no visits. Their visits wasn't proper. They um they 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 letters was they wasn't getting their mail and they wasn't be able to send out mail um their letters and everything on time and they wasn't getting none of their mail or none of that on time they wasn't getting good legal representation for their cases on for appeals and everything else you understand what I'm saying you heard they 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 um lawyer calls all that stuff. They wasn't getting none of that. You understand what I'm saying? All they was doing was getting locked up and treated mad unfair. You understand what I'm saying? Treated mad unfair. You understand what I'm saying? Guards was beating dudes up, doing whatever they wanted to do to dudes. You understand what I'm saying? And in prison, they didn't have no programs at that time. They didn't have no programs at that time. They didn't have schooling like that. They didn't have vocational programs. They didn't have... um. Um, call outs and different things to keep you busy, to keep you occupied. You know what I'm saying? They ba they basically just had you doing hard time. And if you got out of line, they're going to bust your head wide open. You understand what I'm saying? Now, let's fast forward to 51 years now to where we at now. Is What's going on in Attica? Have, 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 what, at, have, have what happened in Attica in 1971 when 43 people were killed changed anything? No, I don't think so. Currently in Attica, right now, the whole system up there has been changed, I believe, because of this man. Yeah, this man. George Williams, you heard? Who was doing a two to four. They broke his legs and they broke both of his legs. They broke his ribs. They broke his shoulder and they severely fractured his eyelid. Yes, George Williams, you heard, was serving a two to four. Yes, two years, his front number, and four years, his back number, you heard? And he was assaulted, you heard? They broke both his legs, they broke both his legs, they broke his ribs, they broke his shoulder, and they fractured his eye socket, and he had other injuries too, you heard? Now, what they did in 2011, what they did in 2011 is really nothing, you heard? Because ever since 1971, Attica has been doing prisoners dirty up there. Yes, they have been doing prisoners dirty up there. You understand what I'm saying? Dirty. I'm talking about beating you up, knocking your teeth out, taking your dates, Giving you new charges. They used they to handcuff you, push you down the steps. You understand what I'm saying? That's probably what they did to this man. You heard? But no, they didn't do that to that man. What they said happened to him was they said that the police was giving out mail and somebody on the tier screamed and yelled disrespectful stuff at the police. So the police didn't know who it was. So they went and picked Mr. George Williams as a herd. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, they do that a lot. You know what I'm saying? Somebody will scream some profanity, yell at them, call them a bitch ass nigga, tell them to eat something, tell them to suck something. You know what I'm saying? And they won't, instead of them just keep going with like a normal day because they know they they don't know who said that. You know what I'm saying? But no, what he did was he went and got his friends, came back, got three officers, you heard? They came, they pulled them out of cell. 
They took him in the day room and they consisted of beating him with the batons and kicking him, punching him, doing everything to them that under the sun. You heard? And see, and imagine that. Imagine that. Imagine you in a cell with, with, with 30, 40 other people on your tier in your cell and they come to your cell. Three COs come to your cell and they say, crack his cell. And you like, yo, where I'm going? I ain't going nowhere where I'm going. You heard? Where y'all taking me? And they like, yo, you got to call out. Because that's what they told them. They said, you going to, you got to call out. You heard? You going to a urinalysis. You heard? They told me he was, he was going to a urinalysis. And they took him out of cell, took him in the day room where the TV area is at. And they, they got the beating on him. I'm talking about beating on him. To the point where they broke both his legs. They broke his ribs. They broke his shoulder. And they fractured his eye socket along with other injuries. Yeah. You heard? In 2011. You heard? At Attica State Prison. And this guy was only serving a two to four. And this guy was not the guy that made that, um, that was cursing out the police over the mail run. You heard? But then it was another story saying that the police did that because they heard that that guy was holding weapons in his cell. You heard? So either or, Police in 2011 went in a man's cell, pulled him out, told him he was going to a urinalysis, pulled him out, took him in the um, took him in the um TV area and commenced to beating his ass. I'm talking about beating his ass to the point where they broke two of his both of his legs, they broke some of his ribs, they broke his shoulder, and they um fractured his eye socket. Yeah. This is the type of things that they doing up there to black people and Spanish brothers. You heard? This is what they doing to us. You heard? And you would think, how can they do that with all those prisoners, all these people, all these killers, all these gangsters? You heard? You know what I'm saying? How do they just come up on a company 3D and take us prisoner out of cell, take them right there to the day room where other prisoners could hear and some prisoners might could see you heard? They can't see what's happening, but they can basically see um, police taking them in the day room and going and seeing a little bit into the day room. You know what I'm saying? And they can hear this man cries. Help! Help! They're trying to kill me! Help! Help! And dudes are screaming, yelling, yo, get off him, man! Get off him! Yo, leave that man alone, man! Boom, 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 boom! Kicking on the doors. Some dudes getting mad, start flooding. Some dudes getting mad, start threatening the COs. Yo, we gonna cause a fire! Yo, we gonna do this! We gonna do that! But that don't stop them police from doing what they doing. They beating that man ass. You heard? Do you know how many men, black and Spanish, they did that to? Let's not talk about the people that had they, they had a reason maybe to jump on. You heard? Let's talk about the people that they had no reason to jump on. Attica was doing dudes dirty since 1971 and beyond and, and, and before. You heard? You see what I'm saying? Now, it wasn't until this guy right here took them officers to court, charged... They was, they was charged. They was charged with a bull crap misdemeanor. Yeah, that's what they do. When when they when, when officers or police people do something, you heard? They get a slap on the wrist. They get misdemeanors. You heard? But if me and you go assault somebody, huh, we getting gang assault. We gonna be sent away like the Central Park Five. We're going to be made an example. It's crazy, man. Why doesn't the police or COs or anybody have the same and get the same treatment as a regular civilian? So now these guys is fighting misdemeanors in court. You heard? A misdemeanor assault. You heard? After they broke. I got two legs, his ribs, his shoulder, and crushed his eye socket. Crushed his eye socket. Along with other injuries. Come on, man. Yeah, these officers. Those officers right there. 
did that. Now, let me bring y'all up to date. In 1997, since the Attica riot in 1971, the only group of inmates and prisoners that ever tried to go against the COs in Attica was the Bloods. Yeah, the Bloods. And I believe in 1997, it was two riots with the Bloods, with the um, Bloods and the COs in Attica. And the, 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 um, the police in Attica, they hated the Bloods. When I say hated the Bloods, I'm talking about hated the Bloods. You know what I'm saying? They was loading dudes up, beating dudes up, um, messing with your food, you heard? Setting you, setting Bloods up. If, 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 they, if, if, if they could put you in a position where you could get your food Eight, or you could get stabbed up. You heard? They'll put you in that position. You heard? They hated the Bloods because the Bloods was the only gang that went up against the COs. They called war on the COs. You heard? It didn't last for long, and it wasn't. It it, it wasn't able. They wasn't able to do their thing like the Attica riot people. But they put in some work. COs got knocked out. COs got. Try to get got cut. You heard dudes try to cut COs. You know what I'm saying? Dudes knock COs out in mess halls. You heard dudes was popping on COs when they came out they cell. You heard? That's why they had an emergency draft for the bloods. When the bloods popped off on them. You heard? They they, they made sure they they rounded up. They locked down the jail. They found out who everybody that was blood and they got them dudes out of there. They 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 transfer them dudes out of there in a special draft. You heard? But they didn't get all the bloods. You know what I'm saying? So it's still it's always blood still in the jail. So then they recoup, and then it was another riot. You heard? But the Bloods was the only gang in upstate New York that I know of that went against the police in Attica since 1971. You heard? Now, they didn't do it on a level like the brothers did it on in 1971. You heard to get 43 men in which 43 people got killed. You heard them police, them state troopers, they went in that jail and they took back over that jail with force by killing people, even killing their own kind. You heard. So they was willing to do whatever to get control of that jail and without giving the prisoners what they needed to give the prisoners. You know what I'm saying? But after the Attica riot, they, they, they started giving prisoners a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? Schooling, vocational programs, um, all kind of call outs, all kind of um, rehabilitation things. You heard they even had college in there. You understand what I'm saying? Until they took that out, they realized, wait a minute, why are we giving these prisoners education for college and people in the real world have to pay for college and we giving these prisoners college for free that don't sound right so they took the college programs out of the prisons so that's how far they want you to go in life you know what i'm saying why would they take colleges and school out of prison if they wanted you to do something in life nah you heard they wanted you they wanted them yards they wanted dudes walking around them yards kicking rocks getting into problems Using drugs like they like they doing, you know what I'm saying? They don't want dudes. They didn't want dudes going to college, getting a masters, getting a associates, getting a um 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 degrees in business and everything. You heard? You know what I'm saying? They didn't want that. You heard? So now, so now, the dude, this guy, this guy that changed that changed the time. You heard? The dude, this guy George Williams that changed his time, you know, he sacrificed. He sacrificed all those people that got beat up, all those people that put in lawsuits and, and, and their lawsuits got dismissed, all those people that went to those hearings that got assaulted by multiple prison guards and set up, lied, and framed. You heard, got three years in a box. Um, Went to the board, got hit. You heard their parents died. They they, they they wasn't able to be there for their kids' graduation. They, this they I'm telling you, them them got them police in Attica and around the state, they messed up a lot of people's lives, man. They messed up a lot of people's lives, man. Over frivolous things, B. Over frivolous things. Because they was having a bad day, you gon' they gonna make sure you have a bad day. You heard? 
you they was having a bad day, they're going to make sure you was having a bad day. I'm going to say it again. You know what I'm saying? And that's how them police was on it. So it wasn't until this incident right here that everything changed around in Attica. You heard? Because the feds went up there. You understand what I'm saying? And when the feds went up there, they opened up them books. Instead of them prosecuting all those guys to the fullest, they said, all right, y'all got to change the system in here. They put cameras in the jail, I heard. I think they got cameras now in Attica. And basically, it's probably less um, assaults on inmates as they... At, like as the, as you know as the guards used to be doing cuz I'm telling you I was there in 2001 you heard they'll pull you out throw you on that wall and they'll make everybody else go to that yard and then they'll drop that stick and they'll whip your ass B I'm talking about whip your ass knock you out put you in a coma knock your teeth out break your legs you heard break your fingers break your hand you heard then they load you up with box time and they get you out of there then three, four, five months later, you find yourself in Southport, you know what I'm saying, going back and forth up to Attica for a new charge. And they jumped on you. Yeah, that's what they was doing all the way up to 2015. You heard? Because 2015 is when George Williams won his um his 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 his, his, his case. And, the, and those officers, was they took a plea deal, you heard, to avoid jail time. You heard? But they was able to retire with their pension and everything. You hear that? They was able to retire with their pension. And they only copped out to avoid jail time. You heard? Because it was about to get funky for them. You know what I'm saying? They thought it was just going to be a regular bull case and the case was going to get thrown out because they, they cool with the politicians um, you know, all the, all the people up front at the judges, you know, and everybody's in their pocket, you heard? You know what I'm saying? They all family up there. But they didn't know the feds stepped in. And they was like, that enough is enough. Since 1971, y'all been beating up and killing dudes up here in Attica, man. Beating dudes up and killing dudes up here in Attica. You heard? With immunity. With immunity. You heard? With immunity they've been doing it. So by far, Attica is the worst prison up there. Them and Comstock. The worst prisons up there when it comes down to the way the police treat you and deal with you. You heard? The way the police treat you and deal with you is is is, is nothing like it. Nowhere up, nowhere in the state. Nowhere in the state you get treated the way you get treated like you get treated in Attica. I'm telling you. So all y'all youngsters, all y'all fake tough guys, y'all don't want to go to Attica. Because what they're going to do to you, they're going to pull you out. They're going to throw you on that wall. They're going to basically molest you by searching you, put rubbing they, rubbing their finger through the crack of your ass. Yeah, they're going to rub the fingers through the crack of your ass. And they dare for you to jump up off that wall and do something. Because that's where they're going to send your ass to that motherfucking infirmary. You heard? And they're going to load you up with box time and all that. Now, I don't know if that's happening now because they have cameras now. You heard? But I'm pretty sure they got dead areas where they still be able to do things. You heard? And beat people up. It's always going to be like that in prison. You heard? It's always going to be a blind spot where they could take you and they could beat you. Do you in? Do you in? That's why periodically you have inmates, you have prisoners that spaz out. You know what I'm saying? And they beat up guards and they 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 assault guards and they and they do things to, to um civilians and whoever at the blink of an eye and nobody even knew they was going to do this is because dudes be facing dudes be under mad trauma. You know what I'm saying? Mad trauma. 
You never know what happened to them in another jail. You never know what the police did to them in another jail. So now they in this jail, you know what I'm saying? And they see they having a little argument, a little disagreement with the police, and they already see it's going a whole nother way. And the only thing that flashed back in their head is when the police beat them up in Auburn. So they're like, yo, man, I'm going to get them first now. I'm going to do this now. And I'm coming up with, I'm coming back with a reactment of a story that I told before you heard, but I'm going to tell you and I'm going to break it down to why it really happened. You heard? And I'm going to give y'all pictures and everything. You heard? And it's about an inmate that assaulted a, a CO. You heard? And I was right there. You know what I'm saying? Right there. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm telling you, B, it was crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? So you have dudes, you have a lot, you have dudes that assault COs, but you got more COs that assault inmates, B. You know what I'm saying? They pull you out when people is aware, when people ain't aware. People could be on their gates, kicking, yelling, leave them alone, this and that, that and this. They still beat you up, um, um, lie on you, throw you in the box, keep you away from your family, keep you away from your loved ones. You heard? With lies, with lies. I don't even know how people, how they can live with themselves, some of them dudes, you heard? You know what I'm saying? You come to work and you actually lie on a person to get a person more time in prison, to get a person um, more separated from their family, you heard? You know what I'm saying? To put a person in more fucked up situation, you know what I'm saying? And that's what them CEOs do. They try to they try to make your time as miserable as they can. As miserable as they can. I'm telling you. You heard? So shout out to the guy, George Williams. You heard? You know what I'm saying? That sacrifice for all those guys that got assaulted and beat up and killed in Attica State Prison in Attica, New York. You know what I'm saying? Where 51 years later. P inmates, prisoners were still getting beaten, killed, set up. You understand what I'm saying? Still put in unhumane conditions. Still treated like animals. You understand what I'm saying? But it wasn't, it's only until 2015 when the feds went in there and changed things up after the doors. George Williams with a two that was serving a two to four, got pulled out his cell as a herb, broke, they broke both his legs, his ribs, his shoulder, and fractured his eye socket. You heard? And he had other injuries. You heard? Deadly. 